Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome to the channel that provides actionable content to help your business grow. Don't forget to subscribe as every month I give away one of my Facebook, Google, and YouTube courses away for free as a thank you for being a subscriber. Okay, today we are getting free Craigslist leads. Let me repeat that, free Craigslist leads. This is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart because it's produced just so much business. Now, with Craigslist, the reason I like it is because it's intention-based searching. So people come to Craigslist with the intention of finding something to purchase, some uh, service that they need, or really they come here for a purpose. It's intention based. They come here because they are wanting to be here. It's still one of the largest websites out there. Now, the difference between Craigslist and Facebook is that Facebook, you're going all over there to socialize or do whatever you do on Facebook to pass the time or invest your time, however you want to phrase it, and then an ad comes up. So if you're advertising from a real estate standpoint, from an e-com standpoint, from any other standpoint, you're you're interrupting their experience and they're clicking out and giving you their contact information ideally. However, here on Craigslist, it's more intentional. There's actual people coming here to, let's see, buy antiques or buy jewelry, barter, housing. This is a part that we're gonna focus on today. So I'm gonna show you how to get free leads from Craigslist. So let's get going. All right, we're gonna to go to creating a post. Now, depending on where you're at, if you're in a big metropolitan area, you're gonna have some options on where this best fits. If you're in the DFW area, you're in luck because, well, one, it's a great market, Two, you get to see exactly what I'm doing. And you can do a spin off of this if you're in Atlanta and Los Angeles, what have you. Really, it's, um, it's the same concept, just with different names, different locations. So what you can do here is um, to avoid Craigslist uh, shutting you down or um, suspending you or banning you altogether, to avoid that, know that you can post the same post three times. So. This means you have to choose from the location that you want to post. So for me, I know that most people are searching in Dallas, most people are searching in Fort Worth, and depending on where my listing is at, I'll either select North, South, or Mid Cities as my third, but I'm always hitting up Dallas, I'm always hitting up Fort Worth, and then I'm all, I, depending on where I'm at, I'll hit one of these. So for the sake of this example, let's just say my listing is in Dallas. So if you don't have a listing, I know you've heard this before from me several times, get one from your broker. They're, your broker or other agents around there are happy to get their property sold. And if you can be on the other end bringing them a buyer, they're gonna be ecstatic about that. Now, I'm not foolish enough to say that everybody is gonna be, um, uh, is want to play ball because I've had plenty of people tell me no I am a realtor as a reminder where hey no I'm not gonna share my listing I don't know why people would do that but it has happened and it continues to happen but thankfully at this point I have listings so I don't have to go around asking <laughs> but um but anyway so once you select where what location you want your ad to show up, you're gonna to go to housing offered. You can go to for sale, there's a uh, housing element there, but that's not where we're going. You're gonna click on housing offered, and this is where you get to share, are you selling by a broker, or are you selling by an owner? Now, a lot of people go by, by owner. I don't suggest that because at that point you're misrepresenting. There's no rhyme or reason why you would want to do that because it doesn't benefit you. So please select what you are, if you're a broker, if you're an agent, what have you, select the right one. And then you're gonna come into the guidelines. Now, I'm not gonna drill too much into the guidelines because I know, and I know them, but really one of the big things that I do wanna focus on here is lead capture, uh, loan financing services, offers to buy, blah, 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 are not allowed. Really, what I want to focus on is the lead capture component are not allowed. So what some people do is they, they'll 
drive people over to their landing page immediately and oh, you'd have to give me your email and your phone number in order for me to give you details. Well, if, um, if it gets reported, if your post gets reported, then you won't have a, a Craigslist account much longer. <laughs> and the list and directories, that's the other point um, before we move on. The list and directories, what people like to do is provide a list to your MLS and then you're providing a certain list that are only attributed to you or hide it behind another lead capture. I'm not going to suggest that. I'll show you how to get around that um, uh, ethically and actually not even have to do that where you won't have an issue getting your website taken down or your post taken down. All right, and this is the main page. This is where you're creating your ad, which isn't that it isn't that long and won't take you long, much, uh, much time to fill it out. So what I like to do is I like to put the city first and then for sale. Even though I put for sale in bold and re really just repeat for sale, for sale, for sale, for sale and put in the correct category, people are still going to reach out and say, hey, is this for rent? <laughs> it's going to happen. It comes with the territory. But um but it is what it is. So we're going to put four bath, I'm sorry, four room, uh, four beds, three bath, two car. And then we're going to put 3,000 square feet. Specific location, I, I, um, I don't include that. And then the postal code is 7520. Nope, that's... Uh, that's Dallas, so we'll just go Dallas. And in the posting body, if you're pressed for time or don't want to come up with something different than you've already put on your MLS, then don't. Then just put your MLS description here. Okay? Now, this is where you get around the lead capture part. If your uh, CRM or whichever person you use or whichever company you use for your website builder gives you a single property website, then use that here. So I a single property website. The key at here is that you want the link to go straight into uh, something that provides the actual information. If you're driving, trying to drive traffic just to your website in general and, you're, and th this property doesn't happen to be there, then you're in trouble. It's going to get flagged and it won't show. So people on Craigslist are very good about policing each other. So the moment another realtor sees that and tries to um, suppress your ad, all you need to do is report it and Craigslist will take it down upon review. So just follow the guidelines and you're going to be okay. But the hack that I really like uh, is very simple to do. If you happen to have an office line or if you happen to have one of those services where you can create custom phone numbers um, that are specifically tied to you or to a property, then go ahead and put that phone number here so you can provide, so you can know that it's coming specifically from this property. But if you don't want to pay for that service or essentially, let me, let me expand on that. Let's just say if you want to have a tag associated to this property and let's call it Dallas for the sake of this example. If, if it's one of those services where you put text Dallas to 972-695-3676 and then it gives you automated information, that type of service exists. It's not all that expensive, but at the end of the day, depending on your budget, it may be. So that's the service that I'm talking about. It's the whole text to this phone number. That's what I'm alluding to. You don't need that service. All you have to do is put text Dallas to, and then just put your, oops, and then just put your cell phone or put your office line if it's one of those that provides, um, if it's one of those that, that you can receive text on. 
And the moment that you receive it, be as prompt as possible to return that information for more information. And to tidy things up, I would put my name and then that I'm a realtor disclosing that part. I would put my email and then I would put my cell phone And you're done but really what you're gonna find is that a lot of people are gonna start texting you you're gonna find people are more comfortable texting rather than emailing you and certainly calling you because they aren't maybe they aren't ready to have that conversation yet or it could be one of those fake things that they just don't want to get tied up in so texting the whole text Dallas to and then office line or cell phone if it if your office line receives text fantastic if not just use your cell phone is going to work wonders and you're going to find people <laughs> texting you two in the morning four in the morning so if you're not up for that then avoid avoid that at all cost so we're going to do 300 square feet I think we said 3,000 we're going to put house and then you would fill out the rest of it. You can put license here if you would like. So just put your license here, although you've disclosed it up there. But for the sake of this example, go ahead and put it. So, um, so you are certainly covered. And you can put your phone number at that point, but I don't want this video to be too long, so we're gonna keep going. Okay for others to contact you about other services, product, or commercial interest. Regardless of what you select, here you're authorizing it, here you're not if you don't select it. Regardless, they're going to reach out to you. So just know that I've given you a fair warning. If you don't want that to happen, then don't highlight it. Well, if you don't want that to happen, don't post. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's, um, it's your choice. It, some people are going to, you're going to get one to two possibly the first day, but as your ad gets bumped down, it's inconsequential. You're going to go to continue. You're going to highlight roughly where it's at, which is fine there. And then you're going to add your images. You, at this point, I wouldn't use all of the Im images that I used in the MLS, which then pushes out to Trill, uh, uh, Trulia, Zillow, Realtor, Homes, all the other third-party websites, I wouldn't include all of the MLS um, listing photos. I want to create a little bit of intrigue, so I'm going to put um, maybe a kitchen, a front, and a back, and really that's it. Just limit the amount of images that I upload there because I want people to reach out to me. I, did, I don't have that um, I don't have images selected yet, so let me just let me just add those. Again, you want them curious. You want them thinking about uh, you know you want them, you want to create a little bit of intrigue. So there's a reason for them to reach out to you for those additional images. Once you get through, all you have to do is click publish and you're on your way. Well, that's it, folks. That's the value I had for you today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if I earned it. Outside of that, keep calling your shot and execute daily.